removal of nasogastric tube or orogastric tubes first of all when so as we talked before on any equipment as soon the indication is or has resolved right has resolved examples and as soon as possible example somebody who is intubated on mechanical ventilation and now he's extubated especially they have og tube never leave an og or gastric tube on somebody who is alert it's so uncomfortable so we would remove it the indication was he will be intubated and sedated and we need to give him nutrition medication and all of that so it's not there anymore or somebody who was having small bowel obstruction or ileus and we used it for decompression and now this result now he has um, started passing flatus no abdominal pain and there is nothing coming from there is very low output if anything coming with the low intermittent suction or suction and um, we remove it and in some cases especially on cases where we using the ng tube for decompression of the stomach for sbo or alias um, or gastric outlook obstructions um, we kind of sometimes they do clamp or wean of the ng tube which means you clamp the ng tube you stop the suction as the ng tube is not there and let the patient drink and see how his symptoms if he remain asymptomatic no problem that mean he is ready to have this ng tube out um so that's another um way um to do it uh, also if you use it for gastric lavage and you don't need it you remove it okay also if it's not functioning and you try to fix the problem but it's not being it's not fixable it's not you are unable to make it functioning then you remove it also if start ha if you started having bleeding um as we explained coffee ground material or blood coming from the ng tube and this is mainly when the ng tube or og tube connected to suction right we explained before that the best way if you don't need the tube anymore remove it now if you still need the tube you need to call gi gastroenterology in both ways so you can ask them should i remove the tube or keep it in at any point i think it's always better to remove the tube let gastroenterology scope the patient and if at that time we if we still need the tube we can ask them is it safe to put it back or not also another situation if we put an ng or og tube already and then we found oh the patient has let's say esophageal or gastric varices what do we do it's already in and it's working always i recommend remove it because you don't want to induce bleed and when you remove it in such cases make sure you remove it very gently so you don't cause any trauma to these varices um, <clears throat> also if part of your daily round on a patient with an ng tube and found some wounds or signs of necrosis or pressure injury around where the ng tube is secured also remove it please also if part of your daily round you notice the patient has signs of acute abdomen or there is free air under diaphragm and that's you saw it on chest x-ray also remove okay also let's continue if if the uh, positioning is not confirmed uh, or you cannot we cannot confirm 
the positioning we did multiple x-rays still it's hard to see the tips or if there is any suspicion remove it now not every malposition tube you remove it you either malposition either you need to advance push downward or retract push upward or pull or push and then never use it until you repeat the x-ray and confirm that so if you find let's say the patient had other contraindications um let's say he has an ng tube now and you decide to put he, you find that he has a dvt and he put now on heparin drip keep it and keep using it so don't remove it in such cases even if the patient developed dic as long as there is no complication directly related like bleeding i would keep it especially critically ill patients that's better than um, remove it and then we need a way to give him medication nutrition water all that stuff so if after placement we find the patient oh he has a history of esophageal structure if it's functioning i would leave it not remove it um unless a complication happened the other complication we just mentioned because it's already in and no complication happened while inserting because we didn't know but if we knew about it we should have not placed it to start with so now you decide to remove it removal process is straightforward and easy and usually performed by nurses and by resident as well but it can be easily performed by nurses of course you need to remove the tape how the ng to be secured or og and then pull it the only problem i've you may see it's very rare is you find resistance in pulling the tube ng tube out and if you encounter this problem please leave it in and then call gi if they can't figure it out uh, or intervention radiology or sometimes surgery because the possible problem that there is some anatomical problems now it's encountered all the the tube is knotted um like a knot there is and um, so it's easy and i advise you as a resident don't try just to try to pull it strongly you may care you may cause injury and trauma you want to avoid that that somebody should see where is the tube and see how it looks and like direct visualization whether with the endoscopy or x-ray now what if we still need still need ng tube or og tube the patient is not still not able to swallow or freeze uh, and that's the main indication i i've hardly seen somebody need suction that long but mainly with the nutrition and the patient inability to swallow sometimes that goes beyond two weeks and if that's the case we have to start talking to the patients and or family about long-term alternatives and usually i consult with speech therapy in that aspect ask them what do they think and they are pretty good and sometimes they tell me hey no just go ahead you have to find an alternative because it's no way the patient will be able to swallow in the next few weeks and that's when the discussion about gastrostomy tubes comes and gastrostomy tubes from the name gastrostomy is like a tract through the skin goes into the stomach and the most common one and the by far the most common one that we use is PEG and actually which is percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy the tubes um and i will stop here because i'm going to talk about pig tubes in the next video